Hi, this afternoon we're going to talk about fibres as an alternative to co-routines. I've always liked cooperative multitasking and the control it gives me. Unity has chosen co-routines as the preferred cooperative multitasking model. Unfortunately, co-routines exercise the garbage collector. Fibres is not a plug-in replacement as it uses a different cooperative multitasking model. You define a method or function for each step, then string them together into a fibers command. Here, let me show you. This example uses inner functions for each step. First, we define any variables we need to communicate between steps. Next, create descriptively named inner functions for each step. Here is a simple fiber where step one will execute on the next frame and step two on the frame after. If you were to run this, the lines would display 0, 1, and 11. This is because yield return is the coroutine process for moving on to the next frame. We can provide the same functionality in the context of a class. Of course, you don't have to have a separate class. You could combine it into a mono behavior. Fibers can run from and be synchronized with coroutines. Begin again is a repetitive root loop. Begin again is a repetitive loop. Use break in an action to leave. The above example is the same as begin repeat. Begin end is a block that does not repeat. Use break to leave early. This is like an if statement. To abort a fiber as you would an error, call exit. Idle restart can build a fiber from parts. Or be used to synchronize fibers. Separate actions in time with a frame count and specify which update function to use. Give an asynchronous task an emitter. Run Unity type subroutines, actually. Run Unity type coroutines. with or without a frame count between steps. Last but definitely not least, delay for a specific, for a specific time period. As you can see, either using the normal frame count or real time. 